Listen, I want to say right off the right off the bat. Now that my mom has passed, and I have more perspective than ever. I don't want to be enemies with people that sh I shouldn't be enemies with. But you conservatives that have been in my life, I was in your life. James Jackson was in your life, and Paul MacGyver. The three of us, at least, were in your lives to point to a different perspective. This world can't take any more of you, any more of what you're doing. You know, it's antics when you can't look at what's going on, when you can't see the over-war that we've been subjected to, that Gene Crimmy, in Gene Crimmy's attempt to be scholarly, I can tell you, because I remember Gene Crimmy's life and his attempts at being scholarly about this. They're losing the oceans, period. We've overfished them, and now we're just filling them up with plastic. Ask my brother, who crossed the ocean on his own little yacht in 1976, starting in 1976, I should say. And uh, it's all been the mob, because we never should have used petroleum oil. They know it the most because of what they did. If they had, if they'd been able to be honest businessmen, they wouldn't have cooked up prohibition. And all drug laws since prohibition have used that model. It's just so they can break down your doors for no reason, the cops. That's what prohibition was about. That's what the drug laws are about. And then, while they're at it, they can say, oh, you can't use alcohol in cars because you can't make it on the farm like Henry Ford wanted to do. This whole thing has been the mob. And now the mob is taking us out. Look at the military budget. Try to make sense of that. Barry Tate, Larry Solomon, and my own sister Nancy, and Rebecca Sherrick, and Debbie Drew, Joyce Dudley on the West Coast, and the women who knew me at QAD, except for Pam and Tracy and Bree, they don't want to be an enemy of any of you, really, except those of you, like the right wing that can't admit admit what you're really up to. If you could admit, like Pam Locker, if she could really admit what she did to me and Evan Bishop and be proud of it, that would be one thing. She can't, that means she's a criminal. And she is in fact a criminal who's gotten away with her criminal activity against me and against my family and against Evan Bishop and his family, at least. And uh, it, it's too big because of uh, the, the amount of money involved. And it's too big because my auto invention is real. So the thing that Gene Crimmy was talking about six months ago, if this is six months from now, and you guys can see what my auto invention is. See, I told you. I don't want to be enemies with anybody. I didn't want to be considered more of a teacher than a, than a slap in your face, or especially Larry and, and Barry and Nancy. Oh, we scholars let it happen, this ridiculous military industrial complex that I've known since I was a kid, and I saw the political cartoonists, and I saw the two sides, and I said, well, if those to be a place for me.